Hi, my name is Lilian Seal from the Forest Specialist for Camps and Birds. And um, I've been here for just a year uh, and a half now. And um, I'm originally from Brazil. And I did both my bachelor's and my master's uh, degree there at the University of Sao Paulo. And then I came to University of Florida to do my PhD degree under Dr. Solenberger. Since I got into my PhD, I've been working with incorporation of legumes and um, into forage systems, and also with nutrient cycling. And um, after I graduated from University of Florida, I went to Auburn University uh, to uh, work on a postdoctoral uh, position as a postdoctoral uh, uh, there for almost two years, and I continue to work on the same area as well. Once I got here uh, into uh, disposition in South Carolina, I've been working with incorporation of legumes into uh, both cool and uh, warm season forage systems. And also um, with nutrient recycling uh, in forage systems and trying to understand better uh, how we can improve management practices to improve the uh, nutrient uh, reuse into those systems and uh, this goes um, along with the sustainability goals that we're trying to set and improve in our forage systems and uh, also in incorporating uh, better practices uh, into forage livestock systems. So in general, uh, I have studies that are both on the warm and the cool season uh, seasons of the year. And uh, I'm looking at uh, using steers, heifers, and uh, looking at their performance, but also on the forage uh, performance uh, as well. And then on emissions of greenhouse gases and nutrient recycling in the soil. I started working with forages uh, back in to, uh, 2010. So I've been working with uh, forage systems for 13 years now, uh, almost 13 years actually. Uh, and the reason that I start, uh, how I started was that I started doing an internship uh, when I was an undergrad uh, back in Brazil. And um, it was, I, I found myself there uh, on this area and I started doing research as well. And um, I do enjoy being in the field, I enjoy uh, talking with my producers, uh, I think it's really um, important the role that we can have as an educator to help producers uh, to improve their, uh, their systems through uh, meet their goals and uh, work on the, econ um, the economical aspects and uh, help them uh, improve sustainability and um, it has been really uh, interesting to be able to work in extension and be able to, to help producers. And I've been involved in extension since I was in Brazil and uh, throughout the whole time that I've been uh, uh, both in uh, Florida and Alabama and here as well, I have been involved in um, working with extension. And um, I find the interactions really uh, helpful and really, uh, beneficial uh, for the research side as well because then we can get some input from the producers uh, trying to understand better what their needs are uh, what our uh, research could be providing answers to based on the problems uh, that they are having and the questions that they present us uh, through those interactions so it's really beneficial and um, I, I love uh, working extension it has been uh, a goal of mine to have a position that had research and extension um, balanced on the appointment. And I was um, able to, to get this position here that uh, I'm able to work on both sides and uh, serve as a mentor for students, but also uh, be interacting with uh, our extension agents, uh, our producers uh, and other um, individuals throughout the region as well. For me, um, 
when I think about the, the most rewarding experience that I had uh, so far, there there's, has been several of them. Um, it's really, uh, really nice to be able to uh, be interacting with the newer generation, being engaged and involved on training uh, new uh, researchers uh, or just students who uh, enjoy what we do and uh, would like to experience and gain more um, knowledge in this area. Um, it's becoming more and more important to uh, engage uh, people in the agricultural uh, practices and agricultural systems that we have just because there's such a disconnect right now uh, with folks um, understanding uh, what we do sometimes that uh, it's really uh, be it's becoming more and more important for us uh, in our roles as educators to try to reach out to those people and uh, in general that they do not necessarily have a background in agricultural, uh, uh, agricultural systems, agricultural practices and try to help them understand what we really do especially in the animal industry that sometimes people who are not that familiar with uh, how we uh, manage the animals, how we manage our systems, and uh, how the the meat is produced. Uh, they may think that um, we are hurting um, the system or the, the animals even, and we do need to be uh, thinking about how to combat uh, those uh, misconceptions and uh, try to bring the knowledge and uh, more information um, and always using uh, research-based information so that just has been uh, a really important point for me and a real rewarding experience every time that I get to uh, interact in larger crowds and uh, to speak or one-on-one -on -one as well but uh, to speak with uh, different communi communities, different uh, ages uh, individuals from different age uh, range um, and even uh, with um, minorities as well um, for me um, we still have less women in agricultural uh, positions um, and being able to now um, be helping pave that way to bring more um, more girls, more women to this, um, to this line of work, this line of research and at being involved in uh, training them as well has been something really important and uh, that I get to do now and uh, I'm really gra uh, glad and it's a rewarding experience to be able to, uh, to be uh, somebody that's in this position now and um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video I'm from Brazil so uh, something that I've been also trying to uh, engage as much as I can is to uh, help um, bridge the gap of information that sometimes we have across uh, different uh, research from different places and also uh, interact more with uh, research internationally and uh, be able to bring some, some folks uh, to uh, get the experience here. Um, what we do uh, in this uh, region and kind of really exchange those ideas and exchange experience as well as much as I can. And that's really rewarding uh, when you get to establish those connections and uh, across the board and um, with folks that are interacting uh, in this area as researchers, as, as in extension uh, folks or um, or uh, professionals uh, involved in this area and uh, from different uh, from different countries from different states from uh, different regions in the US and uh, I've been really um, lucky to be able to get to know some of the most important uh, researchers and uh, people that have really paved the 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 way for us to be able to he be here uh, today and doing the work that we're doing currently uh, in forages. I think that 
right now um, what I can can think about when I uh, think what what would be the the contributions that I would like to uh, leave the, to the world uh, and to to um, general population is that uh, I really want to have uh, the ability to be working towards improving for, uh, food production and uh, sustainability on those systems. Uh, more and more we're seeing uh, that we need to be thinking more about the practice that we're using and uh, improving the sustainability that we can have uh, our systems. So uh, there are several things that we can uh, still um, we're still working on several things, but uh, there are others that we can already be implementing. And uh, I think that uh, what I really uh, could could leave uh, to the world is to uh, to have some some small role um, that will be on impacting uh, food production in general, but also uh, trying to uh, improve the lives and the. Um, uh, sustainability and the profitability that our producers here in South Carolina can have uh, and uh, how they can continue to do the activities that they like and um, continue to be farmers. Uh, we know that uh, just uh, recent years uh, have been challenging uh, for for our farmers, for our uh, producers and people in general. But uh, just with the cost uh, of inputs that we were seeing uh, just past years, um, it's just becoming something that we really need to be uh, thinking about how we can be helping those producers uh, to achieve their goals and continue to do, uh, to be in the animal industry. And um, there's there's a lot of uh, opportunities here in South Carolina and I hope that I can contribute to that. Uh, within uh, here and in the region and um, yeah that's that's my goal thank you for watching this video uh, again my name is Lilian Silva I work at, uh, in South Carolina for Clemson Universe and uh, I appreciate uh, your your time watching this video i do have a forge drops channel if you'd like to check please uh, go ahead and type forge drops uh, on youtube and um, i have more videos um, that i produce weekly there and um, thank you